pets have been very important in my life and not just dogs and cats um, but fish and I wrote this about uh, a fish that I had recently actually and um, his name I named him Telly because my granddaughter used to watch um, the Teletubbies on TV and so she, she suggested the name. This fish was very surprising. He does several things in the poem that may surprise you and or maybe you've had a fish that has done some similar things. For Telly the Fish. Telly's favorite artist was Alice Neal. When he first came to my house I propped up her bright yellow shade with open window and a vase of flowers, postcard size, behind his first fish bowl. I thought it might give him something to look at, like the center of a house you keep coming back to, a hearth, a root for your eye. It was a wondering in me that came up with that thought, a kind of empathy across my air and through his water, maybe the first word I cast out between us in case he could hear. Telly would stare at that painting for hours, hanging there with his glassy eyes wide open. At night, he wanted the bottom as if it were a warm bed. He'd lay there sort of dreaming, his eyes gray and dim and thoughtless. For months, he came back to her the way a critic or lover could build a whole lifetime on the study of one great work. I don't know why he stopped. Maybe it was when he first noticed me, the face above my hand feeding, for sometimes when I'd set the food on top, he'd still watch me eye for eye, as if saying, food isn't enough. Once when I bent, he jumped up out of the water and kissed my lips. What is a fish's kiss like? You'd think it would be cold, slimy, but it was quick, nippy, hard. Maybe it was just what I expected for all our fears of touch. It takes so long to learn how to take in. When he stopped coming to the top, I guess I did all the wrong things. The fish medicine that smelled measured carefully for his ounce of weight for his gills worked so hard and he lay still, tipped over slightly like a dead boat. How do you stop the hurt of having to breathe? After I took him to the middle of the Andy Warhol bridge, I had put a paper towel and a painted egg and laid him in it. And at the top, I opened the casket and emptied him out into the water.